Well, hello, and welcome back to the series. You find me at the Naked Man Cafe in Settle. That's a real thing, by the way, I'm not making that up. <laughs> this is my epic journey where I'm traveling all around the UK, and everywhere I go to is decided by AI. I ask ChatGPT where I should go, and I immediately go there. So far, I've been to Berwick upon Tweed, and now it's taken me to Settle. And I'm about to find out where the next destination is. So we've got ChatGPT up, and I'm gonna just type the word another. And let's find out where we're going to next. The next station is Aviemore Station in the Scottish Highlands. So I'm going to the Cairngorms National Park. The station is surrounded by stunning mountain scenery and offers access to outdoor activities such as hiking, skiing and mountain biking. I will not be doing any of that. Aviemore itself is a vibrant town with cozy pubs, outdoor shops and easy access to the Cairngorms mountain range. The station also serves as a gateway to the Straths Bay Steam Railway, offering a nostalgic journey through the highlands aboard a historic steam train. Let's see how I can get to Aviemore. So there's a train leaving here in half an hour. So I'll probably have to go up to Carlisle again, yep. And then a train to Lockerbie, change to another train to Haymarket, and another change to Aviemore. I'm going to arrive into Aviemore at 10.39, which is a bit late, and I know that's kind of in the middle of nowhere. So potentially my overnight in, say, Edinburgh or something, but I'll work that out on the way. This is good. Would you like your receipt? Oh, yes, please. Okay, back to the station. The wind is really picking up. My umbrella hasn't turned inside out yet, but I think we're close. Oh, there's a waiting room on the other side. That sounds good. Okay, this is where my umbrella turns inside out, surely. <laughs> Told ya. Two car 158, and it seems pretty empty again, which is awesome. I'm going to attempt to get my bag up on the rack because I know it's not going to fit. <laughs> Potentially I could overnight in somewhere like Perth or Stirling. Um, but then the, the train is probably going to be the same train at Edinburgh. I've not checked that in the morning. Um, I don't know if I probably do that. Let's have a look at that then. Okay, I've decided what I'm going to do. I am going to go to Avermore tonight. Um, I have a couple of tight connections, but everything is currently running on time. So assuming it stays that way, I should be good. However, the, la the train I'm going to get out of Edinburgh is the last train of the day. So if I miss that, I'm going to be sleeping in Edinburgh. So here's the plan. This train gets into Carlisle at one minute to six. Then there's a train that leaves Carlisle going to Edinburgh at 18.18, which means it's a 19 minute change, which is fine. That's currently on time. It's a Trans Pennine service going all the way to Waverley. However, I'm going to get out at Haymarket, where I have a 12 minute change. You get the train at 7.43, which goes to Avermore. Well, actually, it goes to Inverness, but it stops at Avermore. So if this Trans Pennine train gets delayed, I am going to miss that connection and I'm sleeping in Edinburgh. The alternative plan 
if I do not get that train and I'm in Edinburgh, I'm going to get the very first train in the morning, uh, which is at 6.30ish, and then it's about three hours on the train there. That's the plan. Let's see what happens. platform one I've just checked the train again it's just left the previous station Penrith and it's six minutes late so that connection's getting tighter it's the sort of time when you are willing a train to be late because I want the connection to be late to give me a bigger connection in Haymarket unfortunately the train starts at Waverley so it's going to say it's on time up until the point that it's actually not left the platform because that's how British trains work, it's weird. Let me just actually book it on my phone, exactly like you're supposed to. <laughs> I don't think you can see that, <laughs> but this is a hub by Premier Inn. I've never been in one of these. Any particular floor would you like to be in? Do you know cost? Are you in light slipper? Uh, well, yeah, let's put a quiet one then. Yeah, we're going to put you in the top floor, because that's the most quiet floor in the Fair building. Enough. She was nice and friendly, wasn't she? This is my first time at a Premier Inn hub, so this is going to be uh, interesting to see what the differences are. Because I've already been told that there's no tea and coffee in the room, 
um, which is fine. Uh, which is the way through here? In fact, what room am I in? Five oh five. So it's a much, much, much smaller room. Look at this. <sighs> but I'm literally here to sleep, and that's all that matters. This is the shower and toilet. Which I feel like I'm gonna need tonight. Well, the shower anyway, and the toilet. Anyway, I'm gonna now relax, charge my batteries, quite literally, and I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. It is currently 5.57 a.m. I managed to get myself up and dressed. Ready to head up to Aviemore. Train leaves in about just over 30 minutes, also 35 minutes. Not had a cup of tea yet. So I'm gonna go do that downstairs and then head to the station and head up. I need I need caffeine, I need caffeine. Cup of tea acquired. Uh, I need to buy something at the station for well in terms of food anyway. It is so quiet here this morning. There's literally no one in the street. <laughs> it's ever so slightly rainy. I mean, I, I could put my brolly up, but I ain't gonna bother. Okay, platform 14, front two carriages only. Okay. so efficient, the uh, train's not due to leave for another 20 minutes and it's not even here yet so, <laughs> so I was actually checking out my journey last night and I realised that that train I need to get this morning doesn't go all the way to Avonmore, I need to change at Perth but when I reach Perth the train I'm getting onto originates in Glasgow at like 7am and if I was thinking a bit clearer when I arrived, I realised what I could have done instead was got a train over to Glasgow, overnighted in Glasgow, and then got a slightly later start with a direct train rather than having to change. Never mind. This is the perfect train, right? Yeah. done a bit of research onto Aviemore. There's a couple of things I could try and do. We'll just have to uh, see if we can actually do it. I am not making any sense this morning. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I need more tea. Just got dripped on again. <laughs> I think this roof needs a repair. This train will call at Dunkeld and Burnham, Pitlochry, Blair Athol, Dalwinnie, Newton Moor, Newton. Avenue Moore, Carbridge, and Inverness. Oh, this scenery is amazing. I mean, just look at that. That is beautiful.
cleared up and there's this amazing rainbow in the sky now. That is beautiful. We are now approaching Avi Moore. Please mind the gap when alighting from this train. Well, welcome to Avi Moore. There's a steam train over there. <laughs> well, that steam train belongs to the Strathsby, Straths Bay Railway. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. Um, I was hoping to ride that, but they have all sold out of tickets today. Uh, this is a cute looking town already. Oh, and this hotel here, that's the one that I did plan to stay in last night, if I had actually managed to get here. We must remind ourselves of what chat GPT told me about this place. So, it's situated in Cairngorms National Park. Yep, there's mountains all around. It offers hiking, skiing and mountain biking. Again, not been doing that, ain't got time, nor do I have the appropriate clothing. But there's a vibrant town with cozy pubs. It's too early in the morning, they're gonna be closed. Outdoor shops. I mean, don't most, most places have shops, but okay, fine, what else? So, I had to do some further research if I can get the hair out of my face. Because again, it's another place a bit like Settle, whereby it's a place where people come to to access the wider area. In fact, I have actually been in this sort of area before and we went to a wildlife park, which actually has some polar bears in it, which is pretty cool. It was a beautiful drive. It was a lovely day. In fact, even on the same trip, we drove all the way up to uh, John O'Groats and on the way back, it started raining, not raining, snowing. When I did my research, I found that there's like a nature reserve just down here. This part of the country has 25% of all of Britain's endangered animals, including the red squirrel, which is something I have never seen. And I would love to see a red squirrel, so fingers crossed that we find one today. Oh, fish and chips. They're not open though. Well, here we are at the Kriegelaki National Nature Reserve. I am probably mispronouncing that. Yeah, this must be the way in. So this nature reserve has several different paths you can take, all of uh, different lengths and different strenuousity levels. That's a word. So there's the station. I walk down here and up here. I'm currently just past the overpass. Then I'm going to take maybe the blue and yellow route. It's not a very long one. So there's a little lake here. Doesn't seem to be any ducks on the water though. Oh yeah, there are. There's some just over there hiding. They're just the uh, regular mallard ducks though. Nothing special, but you know. It's just a shame this place is right next to a busy road because you're just constantly hearing the noise of the traffic. The sound of running water with traffic in the background. There's a lot of trees that seem to have blown over in the wind. You can't have very deep roots. It's probably a bit of a dangerous place to be in the high winds. I mean, look at this. A tree that tall, and it has roots like one or two feet thick, and that's it. That's crazy, yeah. You would have thought they'd go a bit further down. No luck in seeing any wildlife at all yet. I can hear a lot of birds. I can't see a single one. There's no deer or squirrels or creepy crawlies. Right, I'm gonna head back to the main town, see what there is. See if I find a cup of tea. I've not had one since 6 a.m. And it's currently about 10. Uh, so I've had one cup today, which is not enough. On a normal day, I've had at least two by now. Oh God, I'm far too British. <laughs> So I found the shopping area. There's a coffee shop over there. There's one here, Cobb's Cafe. There's a bakery and a soap shop. Oh, and a Tesco. There's a mountain warehouse. Of course, there's a mountain warehouse. And then there's a Bank of Scotland. Oh, there's a fat face. 
What I'm craving right now though is a square sausage sandwich. Perfect. Found a square sausage. I'm gonna be happy girls. I've not had a proper square sausage in a long time. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Scotland. <sighs> that was a nice little cafe. The uh, what's it called? The coffee pot. I am so happy that I got my square sausage. Okay, but now I need to get to the station and find out where I'm going next. Oh, there's a golden post box. Okay, cool. There you go. This town is home of a Paralympian. Gold medal winning Paralympian. Great. So that's Aviemore. Lovely little town. Good vibe, actually. I quite like it. Um, I, was, I think I was kind of wrong when I said there was nothing much to do in the town. I mean, yeah, there's some like places to shop and stuff, and there's probably some... I think there's a hotel over there that's got like a leisure centre attached to it with a big swimming pool and slides and stuff, so that sounds pretty cool. So maybe I'll come back here and actually spend some time here. I think I've said that about every single place I've been. <laughs> but now it's time to find out where I'm going next. So let's load up ChatGPT and find out where it is. Okay, no oh, I absolutely love In fact, I'm gonna go through the town that I now live in on the journey here. That is so funny. <laughs> 